today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get these braids, these French braids. And, um, yeah, if you would like to see how I do it, stay tuned. If not, stay tuned. And, yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. To start off, what I'm going to use is a spray bottle filled with water. A styling cream of your choice. Today, I'm going to be using the Bella Curls Coconut Cream Defining curl defining cream um i just bought this i never used it it's new um yeah you're gonna need a gel of your choice i'm gonna be using the eco style of olive oil gel a wide tooth comb a brush a toothbrush for your edges and a scrunchie so first we're gonna start by taking my hair out you want to be gentle when you do this I ain't gentle. Like, who, who really gentle? Not me. And if I sound different, it's because I think I'm sick. I think. So, as you can see, my hair is a hot mess. It needs to be washed. But, I don't feel like washing my hair. I just, I just, I, I can't be bothered, okay? So, I'm just going to spray my hair all over and I'm just going to get it damp enough to section it off in two. Now I think it's damp enough to section it off in two. Usually I like to use the red tail comb but all my red tail combs are lost so I'm just going to be using this comb and I'm just going to pop my hair. I usually like to put it on the side but today I'm just going to go for the middle. We're going to start with this side. So, I'm going to dip in or wet my hair. So, it's not soaking wet, but it's damp enough to where it's easy to detangle. So, like I said, this is my new Bella Curls Coconut Curl Defining Cream. I've never used it. It's supposed to have zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, Fulililates, probably lililililililical, and um, it's safe for color treated hair. I can't really smell, but when I smell, this smells really good. It's like really thick. Oh, as you can see, it was really thick. It reminds me of this Shea Moisture Coconut Curl Enhancer Smoothie, but it's creamy, like. This coconut curl and curly has a smoothie isn't really creamy. This is creamy. So I'm just going to use the top because we don't waste any product. And I rub it on my head. I'm just going to apply this to my hair. So now I'm just going to start from the bottom. And I'm just going to work my way up to the top by combing my hair. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to spray it, and I don't want to add gel, I really don't, but I think I will, but I got to see how it mix first, so I'm going to take a little bit on my hands, because I don't want it to be flaky, and I'm going to rub it in. Yeah, it's turning white, but it's not really white, so it'll do. Just want to take the wet brush and brush through my hair. And really just try to get everything to lay down and flat, smooth as possible. Now that we did that, I'm going to take my comb again. I'm just going to comb through. So, I'm going to take a front section of my hair
it card it into three. And I really don't know how to teach you how to breed. It's a thousand and one tutorials on YouTube. So yeah. But really, the technique is just over and under, over and under, over and under. And I don't know how to explain it, so just try to follow my fingers. And I'm trying my best to stay close to the edge. I hope I'm in focus. I can't see, so. Comb this down. And now I'm just going to finish braiding the end. And like this little piece, it is going to irritate the mess out of me, but I'm not going back um, and re it. I just. I don't have the energy, I don't have the time. It's time to come at night. I already took my shower, but like so much other stuff to be doing and be worrying about this. Just little teeny bees. Little 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 bees. So I'm gonna try to braid to the ends, but a lot of times you're not gonna be able to braid to the ends. See like this whole piece is left out. And all of this white stuff will go away. But this is what this side looks like. Oh, I don't sexy, sexy. And. So this is <sighs> um now looking at it this side is further back than this side and that really irritates me so usually what I do is I just go in and I just try to make the braids bigger so they match the other one and I usually I usually have to fluff up this side more because this side is always less head than this side. Because I don't do my part straight in the middle. I do it like right here. But you can leave it like this. Or you can tie it up like this. But I'm gonna, I should have wore a white shirt so you can see it. But these are my braids. Some people don't like them edges and baby hairs and all that, but I do. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this, So, as you can see, I am all done with these braids. And, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you like the video, 
and it was helpful to you, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video and it wasn't helpful to you, be sure to like and subscribe so we can all be a family and we can all be together. So, yeah. I'll see y'all guys next time. Bye.